Hubbard Orbiters, Model 101 and 151. The orbiters are scientific working models representing the Sun, Earth, and Moon and their relationships. They are designed to demonstrate basic Earth and Moon motions and to explain the causes of day and night, seasons, and the phases of the Moon. The Sun demonstrates the Earth's light source and indicates areas of day and night at different seasons. The orbiters have been scaled to show relative sizes, distances, and motions of the Earth and Moon. However, true scale is virtually impossible to show with a model of this size. The Earth and Moon are, however, shown in true scale. The scale is 1 inch equals 2,000 miles. If the Sun were to be shown at the same scale, it would be approximately 36 feet in diameter. The distance scale of the orbiters is only relative. It shows that the distance between the Sun and Earth is greater than the distance between the Earth and Moon. The true scale distance between the Earth and Moon would be approximately 10 feet, assuming sizes were as shown by the orbiters. If this were the case, the Sun would be approximately 36 feet in diameter, as mentioned above, and would be approximately 3,920 feet from the Earth. The Moon revolves around the Earth approximately once a month. The Moon also rotates once on its axis during each revolution. The orbiter does not show the Earth rotating the correct number of times in a month, nor the correct number of times in a year. It is important to know this is this in order to avoid a misconception regarding the Earth's rotation. The periods of rotation and the <clears throat> revolution of the Earth and Moon will be shown in Figure 1 of the lesson plan. There are ten different uh, investigations that can be done with the orbiters. Um, the first one, how the Earth's rotation causes day and night. Number two, how the Earth's revolutions around the sun and the tilt of the axis causes seasons. Number three, why the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Number four, how the Earth's revolution around the sun and the tilt of its axis changes the length of day and night. Number five, why the length of twilight changes the length of day and night. Number six, why there is a midnight sun. Number seven, why there are phases of the moon. Number eight, why we only see one side of the moon. Number nine, why there are eclipses of the sun and moon. Number ten, why there are tides. Now there, there are four main parts to the orbiter. Uh, the first one is the sun, the earth, the moon, and the shadow. Now the shadow represents night. As you can see, um, uh, the side of the earth facing, facing the sun would be lit up. The side opposite the sun um, would be dark, and that's the, a shadow represents that. I'll move this in so you can get a closer look at it. The movements of the Earth and Moon are manually operated. So on the 101, you must manually operate the Moon and the Earth. However, um, you can turn the arm and it will show the Earth revolving around the Sun. And that will show the true axis of the Earth in relationship to the Sun. Uh, model 151 is an illuminated, illuminated orbiter, and the basic components are very similar to the uh, 101. It has a sun, earth, and moon. It does not have a, sh a shadow. However, the uh, light side of the earth is illuminated by a, a hole in the sun which the, has a bulb in it and projects the light out onto the earth. This will show you a better uh, picture of how it, how it lights up the side of the earth and how um, the dark side representing, uh, representing the night will look.
Um, on the 151, the, another reason is different than the 101, that the moon and earth actually revolve when you turn the arm. On the 101, that, the earth and the moon must be turned by hand. Um, the orbiters are approximately 19 inches long, 13 inches high, and 8 inches wide at the base. They are packaged in a heavy cor corrugated container. And um, it has inserts and wrapped in plastic to protect the product.